Welcome to another edition of Upon Further Review. Upon Further Review. And in this edition, we'll be talking about the Detroit Lions at the Carolina Panthers. And this NFC matchup between two playoff contenders. That's going to be played on September 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can catch that on your local Fox affiliates. The Lions had a huge win on Monday Night Football in front of a nationwide audience for prime time. As they scored on their first two drives as Matthew Stafford and Megatron, Calvin Johnson Jr. looked unstoppable as they were just racking up the points on the Giants. And the defense of Detroit was shutting down Eli Manning and Victor Cruz and that New York Giants offense. Of course, the big question mark for the Lions is their penalties. And if they can get that under control, they had more penalty yards in the first half than total yards, even though they did have those huge touchdown drives. The Panthers played the Buccaneers, and they won that NFC South rivalry game. The Bucs were a much tougher team. The Panthers to pull out that game without Cam Newton was very impressive. They relied heavily on their defense. Their defense is very strong. The Panthers are one of the best defenses up front. Their front seven is one of the best in the NFL. But they are weak in their secondary, and that's where they're going to run into some trouble in this game. Because up against Calvin Johnson Jr., Matthew Stafford, along with the new addition, Golden Tate, the Carolina Panthers secondary is going to have their hands full. They're really going to have to rely on their pass rush up front if they want to have any chance of slowing down the Lions in Carolina on Sunday. Of course, this is in Carolina, and that always is a boost for the Panthers as they play extremely well at home in front of their hometown fans as they get a real big boost from the support of their fans there in Charlotte. And it's going to be a big test for the Lions to see if they are playoff contenders if they are going to contend with the Packers for the NFC North and if they're going to win that division they got to beat teams like Carolina in Carolina they got to make a statement right here they made a huge statement on Monday night by beating the Giants the way that they did as they really handed them that game and they had Eli on his back the defense of Detroit was just huge Levy had a really big game Tulloch was good too Quinn Ziyansa, Namkasu, George Johnson, and they were putting on the pressure, and they kept Eli on his toes all game long. They didn't let the Giants rack up much yards on offense, period, and they put up big numbers, like I said, through the air. They did struggle in their running game, but Stafford had 346 yards with two touchdowns, which both went to Calvin Johnson Jr., about 164 yards. So... Really, if they can keep from making penalty mistakes, the Lions could easily run away with this one. But that Carolina defense, which comes up huge in Carolina, should make this an interesting game. And Cam Newton is supposed to be back. Of course, will he be 100%? That's the question. How effective will Superman be for the Panthers in what should be his return? But then again, you never know until game time is he going to play. It looked like he was going to play in week one up until game time, and then Derek Anderson got the start. So they say Cam's going to play, but we'll see on Sunday. I Either way, I'm going with the Lions, whether he plays or not. And if he plays, I don't necessarily believe he's going to be 100% that he's going to be that effective, especially with the much improved Lions defense. They were already a good defense, but they are more disciplined despite the penalties that they received on Monday night. they got to get those under control. But under Jim Codwell, the Lions seem to be a much better team this year. They've been on the rise. They've been a team on the come up for quite some time. But it seems this could be their year. They've got all the right pieces in place. They said they have to win this game right here if they want to really send a message to the other you know, opponents in the NFC North send a message to them and everybody around the NFL is the Carolina Panthers were one of the toughest teams last year. They won their division, a very tough division. They beat out the Saints last year in the NFC South and they're looking to contend again. The South is tougher this year because Atlanta is much more competitive. The Saints are always competitive. Even the Bucks with Lovey Smith, they are a much more competitive team as well. The Panthers also need to make a statement here and let everybody know that they're for real as well. 
a lot of people, including myself, are doubting that the Panthers are going to be able to repeat in the South. But this game will let us know quite a bit. It is still early on in the season, but either team to start 2-0, and all, it's really giving you a head up on the competition. Is the teams that are going to differentiate themselves early on are the teams that continue to win games. And usually in the NFL, you see whatever teams can get through the first half of the season undefeated, it's usually a team that's going to make it deep into the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. And both these teams are contenders for that, and we'll see how serious of contenders they are this Sunday. And like I said, I think it's going to come down to the matchup of the weakness of the Carolina Panthers secondary and the strength of the Lions passing game. Of course, they're going to need to have some better production on the ground. That's going to be Reggie Bush's job. We'll see if Reggie Bush can run for more yards against the Panthers and the Giants. That's a tall order. The Panthers are really good. I think he should have a better week, but we shall see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me that the Lions are going to win? I believe they will. should be a close game. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the show.